Good morning. Good morning, sir. My name is Henry. I take care of the garden. It's not an easy job. I don't have anyone to help me. But you probably wanted to speak about something else, sir. What can I do for you, sir? I would just like to ask a few questions. How long have you been working here, Henry? About a year, sir. The garden seems rather deteriorated. Everything used to blossom around here, but now... I'm trying hard, sir, but I can't get everything done just by myself. This garden is really a lot of work, sir. Why doesn't anyone maintain the rear garden? I don't know, sir. Probably because nobody ever goes there. And what about the fountain? There used to be fish in it once. I have no problem with the rear garden as such, but I want you to clean the fountain. But, sir, isn't that rather futile? I mean, it can't even be seen from the front. It's going to be a lot of wasted work. Either you clean it by tomorrow, or you can start looking for a new job. As you wish, sir. Tell me, Henry, what did you think of William? I didn't really know him, sir. I'd scarcely seen him. You have worked here every day and you hardly saw him? Well, you see, Sir William wouldn't go to the garden very often, and I only do what Madame Victoria tells me. Bates was the only one allowed in his study. He wouldn't let anyone else in. Is there anything else you can tell me about him? I don't really feel like talking about him with you. Why not? Hmm... How would I put it? Everyone reckoned he was a bit of a loony. You know what I mean. Go on. I don't really want to talk about it with you, sir. Please ask someone else. What does that mean? Why would anybody perceive William as mad? Henry, do you recognize the man in this picture? Have you ever seen him? No, sir. I don't think I have. Who is it? Should I know him? No, probably not. I just wanted to know if you had ever met him. I'm sorry, sir. I will leave you to your work. The smoke from the leaves smells nice. Full of leaves. Henry has plenty of work taking care of the garden. All those leaves will get burnt in the end. The wood is ready to go into the grinder. The door is locked. Henry? Yes? Henry, there's blood in the grinder in front of the greenhouse. Where did it come from? But that's impossible, sir. I only put branches in it. Are you quite sure? Hmm. Perhaps you're right. I probably imagined it. I should probably take a rest. Who knows what I've seen? Henry, I went to the greenhouse and found it locked. Why? I lock it during the day as well, just to be safe. To be safe? I don't want anyone wandering about the place and snooping in my stuff. Do we have strangers walking around here then? No, sir. That's not the problem. But I've seen Morris around there a couple times, and he's got no business there. The greenhouse and the garden are both my responsibilities. 
I usually lock it so that I can be sure nothing gets lost. But if you want to have a look inside, sir, I'll open it. No. I only wanted to know why it was locked. What could Morris be looking for in the greenhouse? Hmm. I will leave you to your work. This door leads nowhere. The lower floor of the old wing of the castle is behind it. The entrance has been walled up for years. This is where Bates leaves our mail. There is no letter now. The founding stone of the original castle that Marcus and Mordred jointly laid in 1206. It's made of a single piece of some strange stone, charged with a peculiar kind of energy, as William would say. The atmosphere of centuries long gone can be felt around it. On the marble plate are the names of all the lords of our family who lived here. Victoria wants to be alone. I'm not going to disturb her. I used to sit on this chair at family dinners. An ivory statue of a little Buddha Victoria is collecting these things. They don't seem to be working, showing half past seven. This is the key to the attic. I'll take it. There's some dirty water at the bottom. Maybe there were flowers in it once. Spice grinder. It's just a decoration. It doesn't work. This is where Bates makes all the meals. He's a very good cook. At least I won't go hungry. Pork, I'd say. Smells lovely. I don't need anything from here. A dirty coffee mug. There's a big bee on its side. It probably belongs to Bates. The dining table of the servants. Various kinds of spices and cooking ingredients. I'm not going to make a mess out of it for Bates. I have no idea what I'd be looking for in there. 